We all have a story that God is writing over our lives, filled with good chapters and hard chapters, valleys and mountaintop seasons. Um, you know, I am just so thrilled to have life again, have a new album coming out. Uh, some of you know it was 21 years of age. I was studying jazz piano at Berkeley College of Music, singing in the bars, the cruise lines, my funny valentine, sweet comic valentine, you made me smile. When I came to know Jesus, um, a senior in college, first experience with the love of God, and he encountered my heart in such a way, and just have never been the same. And it's been such an honor to travel and worship and offer songs of hope to people all over the world. Well, a few years ago, um, I got to partner with an incredible church movement here in Nashville called the Belonging Co. and help pioneer this this incredible movement here. And, Thousands are getting saved, and it was so awesome. I was still traveling some, leading worship, doing women's events, and I can remember I just never quite felt myself. I felt fatigued a lot. I felt off, and um, those are some signs I should have yielded to, and I thought it was just jet lag, travel, whatever. Well, in 2018, I hit rock bottom. I'm talking rock bottom where you can't leave your home, you can't function, and I didn't know what was wrong. I had battled some Lyme disease, but what had happened is Lyme disease had become a neurological bacterial infection, and my brain and my head was literally shutting down. I can remember uh, there, the pain was so bad every day. It was not a normal headache. It was like your brain wanted to explode, and we couldn't get a handle on the pain, so that chronic pain was day in day out, day in, day out. And it brought me to a dark, dark place. And um, I had to take a break, had to take a sabbatical, flew home, talk about a hard season, humbling season. Flew home at my age to live with my parents as we tried to navigate this. Um, and uh, it, it took a long time, a lot of doctor's appointments, a lot of holistic treatments and regular treatments. And I can remember one day, probably when I was at my lowest, I opened my laptop and I pulled up an old demo of a, a song that I had a dream to record on an album if I was ever well, which I knew the promises of God and I knew him as a healer. I knew that he could restore. I was clinging to that, but my little mustard seed of faith was very small at the time. And um, I pulled up this demo of a song I had written. Though my eyes have yet to see that you have promised me I will wait I will wait upon you God for what you start you will complete and I knew that he who began a good work I knew the scripture that he would be faithful to complete that work and I just began to cry and say, God, I know there's more and maybe you're there today. I wanna to encourage you, don't lose hope. Don't give up, there is more. And it was soon after that we connected with this clinic in Huntington, New York called the New York Center of Innovative Medicine where I received healing treatments for Lyme disease. They're doing amazing things for chronic uh, illness and it was three months back and forth and a year ago, I got the clean bill of health at that nasty Lyme infection, that thing the enemy tried to use to take me out, was gone. And I was healed and I was whole and I know it was the prayers of the saints and friends and family coupled with those treatments that got me to the other side. But that year of long suffering taught me so much of the character of who God is. He loves you in the valley. He loves you on the mountaintops. And He is writing a beautiful story in our lives, no matter what chapter you might find yourself on. It's now my greatest honor to offer these songs, some written in that dark place, some written in the victory, songs of healing, songs of hope, that I pray encourage you that God is not done with you yet, but He writes a beautiful story. Cause you write a beautiful story, you write a beautiful story, from glory to glory, I believe You write a beautiful story You write a beautiful story Beginning to ending and in between He's 
writing it over your life and he's writing it over my life.